Hi, everybody. Diane at Healing Bodies, Healing Souls. And I was just reading of another shooting. And I think you know me well enough. I don't want to talk about a lot of negatives. But this is like too many shootings. And these are involving young people, young men. And so look at your children, pay attention to them. You wanted to have kids and we don't just like a car, a vintage car, pull them out and enjoy them when it feels right. It is a daily commitment to raise your children, to pay attention to them, to notice them. It's tough out there in this world and I get it. I wouldn't want to be 14, 15, 20, 22 in this day and age. And they have a lot of pressure. I get it. But as parents, as adults around kids, we're here to guide them through it. They can't do it alone. And they, they're not doing it alone. There's a lot of suicides going on, a lot of massive depression going on. Kids as young as 14 are going into... Um, the doctors for medication for depression. I've met people that are on five different medications for their emotional well-being. So let's focus on our kids. Let's raise them. Let's parent them. Let's value them. So from signs to watch out is, are they in their bedroom isolated too much? Are they on their phone and addicted to everything that's on the phone nowadays? Are they doing good in school? Are they socially open or are they socially awkward and distant? And if you can't look at your child or children through the eyes of really paying attention, then ask their teachers. Ask a few individuals around you. Hopefully, they will be honest and truthful. A lot of my clients have children that they half ass raised. Because just being at home at night isn't enough. That's not parenting. It's having really good conversations. Making them feel good. Having family time, community time, dinner at the kitchen table. So if you need help with the parenting, please, please, please reach out. And I know you don't want your child to suffer, but a blind eye and a deaf ear, they may be and you're not noticing it, and I know it hurts the heart. There is help. I've worked with kids as young as 14 and a half already made small suicidal attempts, but I know people that have made suicidal attempts for attention and it went too far and they died. Again, I don't want to be negative about this, but I want you to watch your children. I want you to enjoy them. They're the grooviest people you will ever meet in this lifetime. It's not a politician or an actor, actress. It's your children. They're the grooviest people you'll ever get to know and get to know them now. You can change. And if you have anxiety, you've given them anxiety. If you have too much stress in your life, then you're giving them stress in their life because they're marrying you. And if they're 14, 15, 20, 22, and not 40, 50 or something for you, they are not capable of handling the level of stress that you show up in your home with. So you got to work on yourself. And every time you work on yourself, it's worth it. And every time you work on yourself to help a child, well, to me, that's just common sense. So look at your children today, please. If they are awkward, when it comes to social skills. And if you don't like the character of their friends, it's a job for you to fix it. And I am here to help you and guide you and hold your hand and give you the tools, the wisdom and the insight 
to protect yourself, protect your child, and to raise kids that are good for our society. So take a couple deep breaths. I pray your child is just groovy and uh, social and happy and all over the place and excited about life. And if they're not, it's mandatory that you reach out now because you can't hide anymore. There are lives and lives around them depend on your decision right now. Again, I'm Diane Gazine at Healing Bodies, Healing Souls, and thank you for listening. If I can be of service, please reach out to me. If it feels right, you may share this. Namaste.